it looks like Nelson Peltz is picked his targets here. He's called a shot. He's pointed to the crowd and said, you and you are my targets here. Nelson Peltz has picked the two board members Ooh. that he would Ooh. like to replace at the Walt Disney Company. Uh, mm. This one out of Yahoo Finance, although it's based off of, uh, you know, the, the proxy statements from Trian Partners, which it's, it's so handy that uh, the Walt Disney Company lists all of this stuff on their own um, uh, <laughs> SEC filings. Uh, this by Crystal Say, I'm going to say. Uh, Bloomberg says Nelson Peltz is urging Walt Disney Company in investors not to reelect two board members as the billionaire activist proxy battle with the media giant heats up. That's right, it's heating up. Peltz's tree and fund management is targeting targeting Maria Alina Lagamasino, who chairs Disney's Ooh. compensation committee. Mm. And Michael Froman, according to a preliminary filing with the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission on Wednesday. That was yesterday. Both of both are up for a re-election at Disney's next annual general meeting. Trian wants its fellow shareholders to withhold votes for Lagamasino and Froman. I just love saying her name. I'll miss her if she leaves. Lagamasino. <laughs> and instead, elect Peltz oh. and Jay Rasulo, a former chief financial officer at the company, to the company's board. Um yeah, Lagamasino, uh, she she was there, and we'll talk about her qualifications. Froman lacks the required public board experience to occupy his position, uh, according to Trian. Froman is the president of the Council on Foreign Relations, which um, I'm going to say that once, and mm. hopefully YouTube won't ding me for focusing mm. on the Council on Foreign Relations. He was elected to Disney's board in 2018. Um, there's 12 people on that board right now, and... Um, one thing these people have in common is we've talked about them on the channel uh, before. I, I, I don't know if everybody remembers. Um, they are part of this filing right here. And if you'll turn to page three in your text, sorry for the uh, <laughs> teacher reference. Sorry for the uh, quick run through the text here. It should be page three. Where am I? I'm at page six. Where's all the dots? Here's some of the dots. There we go. Yep. Um, if if you look here, uh, Lagamasino is on the government and nominating committee and the uh, chair of the compensation committee. So this is a person that um, does not necessarily. Uh, uh, Peltz is very focused on the compensation issue here for the Walt Disney Company and Lagamasino mm -hmm. being the head of the compensation committee. OK, yeah, that makes sense. She would be uh, very unpopular with anyone that thinks that Bob Iger is overpaid or any of the other executives coming in uh sure. being overpaid um what's his name uh hugh johnston from uh pepsico uh comes to mind as someone who i don't want to say he's overpaid but uh, in order to snag him they did have to pay quite a bit um and of course go ahead but uh, there is an elon aspect to this that i wonder if everybody's realized elon just lost a case from somebody suing to say that he was overpaid because most of his pay was supposed to be based on performance and the company had a bad time. Well, if you can win that case against Elon, you can sure as heck win it against Big Bob, can't you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, And going after the compensation person is an obvious lean in that direction, I think. I would absolutely agree with that. But, uh, the, you know, that, that, that Elon one is, is fascinating because... His targets were set 10 years ago. Oh, and uh, I'm not and, saying there's a specific comparison, and I don't know that you know what they did with him will stand, and he doesn't care he's rich anyway. All I'm saying is you want to talk about compensation based on performance. Uh, none of these people should be on the board, first of all, from that chart that Peltz has put up before about how much uh, the company has lost while their tenures have run. Yes, I and agree. Wasn't, <laughs> wasn't one of the proposals... Um, that will be voted on this next shareholder meeting. Wasn't that directly related to compensation, which yes. Peltz and Trium was were not a fans of? Yes. Right. Uh, okay. Right. So one of the proposals was to uh, approve all compensation packages, and uh, that's that's one that they have on there pretty much every single year. Um, right. And, yeah. and, and this is one, of course, that is a huge focus. I think they're actually voting for uh, the approval of the compensation packages this time. That might be a political move just to keep uh, stability of the company. Uh, we've talked about this on other live streams here. Uh, if you look at Froman right here and Lagamasino right here, we have this section where everyone has these core competencies, um, which mm -hmm. comes with being in a Fortune 500 company on that level. So 
it's not really particularly special. And they have this one called 360 degree brand activation, <laughs> which is the only one that Froman and, and Lagomasino have under their belts mm. uh, here. So um, I, I, I they, pointed they it out. They don't have one for conspiratorial government activity. I'm shocked, shocked. Uh, well, well, maybe that's in the that's in the shadow bullet points. Uh, that they have, <laughs> yeah, the shadow I'm sorry. Points. Every time I hear Froman, I keep thinking Ed Froman. You mean the sausage king? Of uh, Chicago? Me too. I, I, sausage I, okay, I'm glad it wasn't Chicago. just me. Those those Ferris Bueller references. Every time, every time it, Jonah says it, I'm like, oh my goodness, here we go. And my brain <laughs> starts running the scene. I'm like, oh yes. Yep, and 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 here's Froman. He's uh, he delivers strategic initiatives and uh, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, he's been the <laughs> president of the Council on Foreign Relations, which uh, um, yeah. yep. Um, and well, he works you know, for Citigroup. He has finance experience. You know, he's a technical question because I really don't know. First of all, don't they have like too many people on the board now because they added some extras and they have to get rid of somebody anyway? Yes. And, sec and secondly. When you put two people up, do you have to pick two you want to vote down, or does it whoever gets the highest votes wins out, out of the whole batch? Uh, so w what, what's going on is they went down to 11 when they got rid of Susan Arnold uh, right. as, the, as the chairperson. They re replaced her with – And that was to keep with, out, right? Yeah, Mark Parker, who's the head of Nike, as the new chair of the uh, Walt Disney Company board. And they said, oh, no, we don't, we don't need another board member. But, of course, uh, when they announced that Jeremy Darish – from Sky Media and uh, Gorman from Morgan Stanley were coming in. They're, they're adding them to the board temporarily, and then they're up for election, but they're taking over two other people's seats. So those two people are not continuing on the board. So they're right now the board has 13 people, and it will, no, quote unquote, normalize to 12 right. if, uh, if Disney has its way at this point. And two draft choices to be named later. <laughs> exactly, yeah. uh, exactly. Right. Um, just to just to throw this in here, just for, for the sake of uh, completeness, Maria Alina Lagamasino uh, here is the chief executive officer and managing partner of We Family Offices, a wealth management company, and uh, also worked uh, with J.P. Morgan uh, as the uh, chief executive officer there until uh, 2005. So, you know, they have board experience. Um, I can understand why Peltz and uh, his people would go after these particular people and uh the other theory might be that uh, Nelson Peltz and Tryon Partners and all those people, they, they just watched that park place for all of the news that should be fun and happened to catch on the fact that we said, hey, there's 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 two nails sticking out over here mm -hmm. that, that, uh, that don't quite blend in with everything else. They'll be losing a little bit of diversity, though, if they... One of these things is not like the other. Yeah. <laughs> One of these things mm -hmm. doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. um, and, well, that does seem to be the case that uh, Nelson Peltz and Jay Rasulo are making here. If you could switch one of these people out for the former CFO of the Walt Disney Company, I think that you would uh, you'd probably be better off. And if you well, could switch uh, out one for uh, a guy who, um, you know, does what everyone else does, but he does it with gold plated diapers, um, you know, what what is it? No, he makes gold records. That's the reference. Right. Um, I, I think this is a good move for the Walt Disney Company to replace these people. They aren't wanting that good move, but you know, to each his own. Does anybody have any comments before we move on to the next part of this? I, I, I don't want them to get rid of your favorite name, though. Oh well, you know, we can always say maybe she'll join uh, Universal, so we can be turned in. Sure, her name should be turned into a spell. I, I know she sounds Lago like Machino. she. She sounds like she's perfect for the Nike board. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. This clip was part of our now regular Thursday live stream, which starts at noon Eastern time. Of course, if you're not in that time zone, just hit the notification bell if you'd like YouTube to tell you when that is. Like this video if you like this video. If you know someone who is as interested as we are in this kind of thing, then maybe you should share the link with them. And of course, please consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media account.